Welcome everybody, my name is Anthony James, founder and CEO of cloudassessments.com and linuxacademy.com. And today I'm joined by course author, Chad Miller, who is working with the Linux Academy and Cloud Assessments team. He's specializing in, uh, he specialized in OpenStack actually, and does a lot of containers. And we're actually gonna be talking about uh, not Docker. So when you hear the term Docker or containers, you usually relate that to Docker. Well, believe it or not, there's a really cool type of container out there that will help us replace some of our virtual machines. And Chad just did a course on that. We're gonna talk a little bit about it and what it is. And that course is LexD and Lexi. And if you don't know what that is, then this is for you. So Chad, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself before we dive into the course? Thanks, Anthony. How are you today? Uh, Pretty good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've been doing adult education for about 20 years, doing all kinds of uh, really technical training. I've taught uh, Java to Oracle developers. I've taught uh, database development. I've taught data normalization, OpenStack, as you mentioned, uh, Kubernetes, Docker, and, of course, Lexi and Lexti. And so I, I, I've been doing this for a while. Um, when I was in college, uh, I was a theater major, and I... I met and fell in love with a music major and uh, we decided to get married, but we wondered what we would eat. So I actually switched my major over from, uh, from theater to computer science. So I'm one of the only people I know with a double major in theater and computer science. So, Oh, for sure. That is a unique combination. There. <laughs> so, and real quick, before we dive into it, for those who have no idea, when we say Lex D and Lexi, don't go Google L-E-X-D. It's LXD and LXC, but it's pronounced in the community as LexD and LexC. And so actually, Chad, why don't you just tell us, I mean, we're, we're using two terms, LexD, LexC. What, what, what do they mean? Why are we using two terms? That's, that's actually kind of an interesting story because it doesn't really stand for anything like uh, typically uh, three-letter acronyms do in our industry. Uh, LexC, L-X-C, stands for Linux Containers. And just to be more confusing, LexD stands for Linux Containers Daemon. It's actually the control plane uh, for Lexi. So it's referred to kind of interchangeably as Lexi and Lexd, depending on if you're talking about uh, specifically containers uh, that are running, or if you're talking about Lexd in general and how it's running in, in a cluster. So real quick, a 60-second a overview, maybe even 10-second. I don't know. I just went both ways there. <laughs> What, what would you say a Lexi, and actually, how do you want us to refer to this? You want us to say Lexi, because technically it's a Lexi container, what, controlled by Lexd, right? Right, and I'll be honest, I kind of use them interchangeably, uh, as I've heard a lot of people in the industry do as well. So uh, they get Lex out of their mouth, and then it just is followed with a D or a C. So however <laughs> you want to refer to it is fine with me. I, I don't think there's any kind of a big controversy in the community about saying one way or the other. Not till after this podcast, of course, and then it'll, it's going to blow up. So uh, whatever comes to my brain first, we'll just say it. So, you know, when, when should I use, obviously we're, we're gonna dive into what's the difference between a Docker container and a LexD container. But really, I think one of the main important things here is what's the difference between a LexD container and a virtual machine? Well, so that's actually a really that's the most interesting part about it uh, for me. I come from, you know, uh, from an OpenStack world and from virtual machines. And so when I first uh, started hearing about uh, Lexi and Lexi, I was thinking, uh, so what? This is just, you know, this is another also ran kind of thing. But then I got to really looking at it. And the interesting thing about it is with, uh, with you can think of Lexd as kind of a, a, a hypervisor, a Linux only hypervisor without the hypervisor because you can spin up what are effectively virtual machines, these machine containers, as we call them in the LexD world, uh, that that don't have a hypervisor. They are isolated through uh, C groups and namespaces in the kernel. So you get uh, all, crap. So you get all of the uh, <laughs> so you get all the benefits of a virtual machine, but without all the uh, all the slowdowns of uh, of a hypervisor there, so you get uh, your virtual machines, if you will, 
running at host speeds. And so one of the advantages of that, if we were to look at that, is let's think of a virtual machine, right? A virtual machine, if you're going to install it from there, is going to require its own set of resources to manage the installation, which increases the number of resources you need for whether you're running it on a cloud provider, virtual machine or instance, or on a VM or a piece of hardware. And so it actually increases, if you're going to run VMs, the amount of hardware you need versus, let's say you're running LexD, LexC containers, on an actual instance itself, which you can on a cloud provider, then it can actually provision and just use the available resources, and it doesn't require as much overhead to create the entire virtual machine. Would that be an accurate statement? That is 100% accurate. Have you already watched my videos? Because uh, because you got it right, right there in one. Uh, the, the really exciting thing about it is that it is virtual machines without the hypervisor. It's their containers, so they run at, at host speed. And if you're an old OpenStack guy like me, uh, one of the main parts of uh, the Lexi and LexD world is a little piece called Nova Lexi, which allows OpenStack to spin up containers, these Lexi containers, just like it would spin up virtual machines on something like KVM or VMware or whatever other hypervisor you wanted to use. And that's really cool because it, it operates the same. In fact, I would only venture to guess one of the maybe the limitations out of the box uh, and maybe probably maybe even pains is the networking component, exposing that publicly. And that probably works a lot like uh, what Docker containers. I mean, it's a container probably works in terms of exposing the service uh, publicly or how might that work? It's, it's a little more limited than Docker. Docker really kind of takes uh, the whole concept of containers to the next level. As I'm sure you know, Docker used to be based on, on LexD and Docker has since moved into their own libraries, but LexD is still around and still doing some really interesting things. But yeah, you're right. Networking is one of the big pain points with LexD. Uh, uh, and is one of the things that kind of OpenStack steps into uh, and kind of solves that problem from that angle if you're wanting to run it in, in your OpenStack cluster. But if you're just running Lexi and Lexi uh, together, you're, you're kind of on your own as far as getting the external ports to the containers. We talk about in the course how you can do that, a couple of different methods. Uh, but there's but unlike Docker, there's, there's no built-in method to simply map uh, stuff from the host directly to the container. Uh, um, so it, in some ways, it's a, it's a little more limited, but in other ways, it gives you a lot of control over the operating system and uh, at the operating system and kernel level, uh, more so than, uh, than usually virtual machines will give you, and certainly without the, uh, without the overhead, like I said. You know, that's, that's a great overview, and I appreciate that. We're getting ready to wrap up. And so here's what I'm going to ask you just in a single question. And well, a single long question. We'll see if I can make it single or not. <laughs> For anybody who is out there today, we have a lot of people who run microservices. We have a lot of large scale enterprise architectures that aren't necessarily there yet. Who should really, what use case or who or what type of engineer should really listen and say, Lexi, uh, Lexi you need to check this out. It's going to change your life. Well, Anybody in IT, really. Uh, the the cool thing about Lexi and Lexi and Docker and all of these uh, technologies that you and I have been talking about for the last few minutes is they all work together. So if you're already a Docker shop, for example, but there are some things that you don't want to deal with kind of at the application level, but uh, maybe you've got a legacy application that really you want to get in there with the whole operating system, unlike with, with Docker, where you're really focused on a single application, but you don't want the overhead. Lexi and, and Docker can run side by side on the same physical host. Um, you can even run Docker containers inside of a LexD container. So you can uh, you can do nesting that way. Uh, it really is just, uh, it's another tool in your belt, right? So one of my favorite things about this is that we can use all these different tools together uh, and I mean, in the same cluster, and that way you can pick the appropriate container type for the workload. So if you need a whole operating system, then you can use uh, you can use LexD without having to worry uh, about uh, the Docker, uh, you know, being really really focused on on a particular application. So you can use Docker as it was intended, and uh, you don't have to step all the way back to a hypervisor if you do need an entire machine container type thing. 
Perfect. Uh, Chad, I think that's a great explanation. And for those of you watching, you know, one of the things that I honestly love about it as well is it's almost a replacement for virtual machines. You know, uh, when we look at Docker, there's packages, there's orchestration, and LXD LXC really focuses on the component and can work in conjunction with those. So it's very interesting to take a look at. Very excited to see your course come out, Chad. It's located on linuxacademy.com as part of your regular membership. And Chad, I appreciate you taking the time to tell us a little bit about LexD, Lexi containers, and your course. No problem. Thanks, Anthony. I appreciate it. Thank you. You have yourself a great day. You too.